Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at Microsoft Excel pivot tables and in particular grouping. Now what grouping does is create a new field that's not in our raw data set. Now this raw data set we see here and if you're a regular to the channel you'll know this data set is basically a motor vehicle sales company where we've got the, the person selling the motor vehicle, the branch where they work, the type of vehicle, color and product and the quantity and value. Now there's a particular field that's in here which is color and we might want to group those colors into basic colors and platinum colors and that field's not available. So we'll get straight into it by creating the pivot table in the first place and then I'll show you how we go ahead and group those products and create a new field. So we'll simply highlight the table of data, it goes down about a thousand or so lines. We'll go up to the ribbon to the insert tab and right on the left is insert pivot table and we're going to put this in the new worksheet keep the current selections and press ok and now we have a new sheet sheet one with our pivot table when we're in this pivot table we'll now go over to our pivot table fields and we'll select color and drag that into rows and we maybe will select the quantity of those motor vehicles and put that into values and all of a sudden we've got our most basic pivot table with our the color of the vehicle and how many of those vehicles were sold for each of the colors now the next step here is to group colors based on in a typical motor vehicle company a, a basic color pattern or a platinum which usually costs a little bit more money so first things first is we'll go to the colors which are basic and we'll select them which is black we'll select black and hold down the control and select white so there'll be our basic colors in the in the range we'll right click them and go down to group and now we've created a new group where we've got group one which is black and white and the other colors being as they are you can see now that we've got a new field in there called color 2 and this is automatically being put into the into the rows so we'll go to that color 2 in the pivot table options click the down arrow go to field settings and we've got a custom name there which is color 2 we'll just change that to color grouping And now we've got color grouping and color in the pivot table. We can take out color grouping and we'll have our original colors there. We can put color grouping back into the pivot table and take color out. And now we've got our new color group there. Now to ch simply change that number, group one doesn't make any sense. So we'll change that to basic colors. And now we've got our option there where the grouping of black and white is called basic colors the next step is simply grabbing the rest of the colors and creating a second category we've got the basic colors we also need to make a platinum colors category simple as highlighting those colors that you want to group I just hold, held down shift to highlight them or you can hold down control and select them individually right click there and group them up and now it's called group 2 because if you remember the basic colors was group 1 now we'll just change that group 2 simply click into that cell rechange the name by calling it platinum colors press enter and now we've got our new pivot table with the color grouping as our rows now that field will stay there so if you add more data to this sample data set that will just continually add to your colors if you add a new color that's not there before you may need to group again but you should get the uh, idea from here so i really hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe to the channel really really handy 
maybe throw in a like or a comment about something you'd like to see and I'll uh, I'll try and answer those questions for you. So I'll see you next time.